Let's answer a question about limiting reagent for the reaction of ammonia with oxygen to produce nitrogen oxide and water. A reaction mixture contains 2 grams of ammonia. Ammonia has a formula NH3 and 4 grams of oxygen. Obviously oxygen gas O2. And we have to find out what is the limiting reagent. So it's either going to be ammonia or it's going to be oxygen. And then how much excess reactant remains after the reaction has stopped. Let's start with the limiting reagent. The first step is to write a balanced equation. Here it is. Then we need to give the reaction ratios of this balanced equation. First of all, we give it in a mole ratio, which is very easy. It's simply the coefficients. Four moles of ammonia reacts with every five moles of oxygen to produce four moles of nitrogen oxide and six moles of water. Now, since we have grams in the information given, we need to convert this into a mass ratio. How do we do that? We ask ourselves, how many grams, what's the mass of four moles of ammonia? And it will be four times the molar mass of ammonia. The molar mass of ammonia is 14 grams per mole for the nitrogen and three times one, three grams per mole for the hydrogen, 17 grams for every one mole. So four times 17 for four moles. Five moles of oxygen has a mass of five times the molar mass for oxygen. Oxygen gas, that is, O2. And the molar mass of oxygen gas is 2 times 16. 2 because it's O2, 16 because 16 grams per mole is the molar mass of O. 2 times 16 is 32. So 5 moles of O2 has a mass of 5 times 32. 4 moles of NO have a mass of 4 times the molar mass of NO. Molar mass of NO, 14 grams per mole for the N, 16 grams per mole for the O. 14 plus 16, 30. And 6 moles of water has a mass of 6 times the molar mass of water. The molar mass of water is 2 grams per mole for the H, 16 grams per mole for the O, 18 grams per mole for water. We are trying to find the limiting reagent, which is the reactant which will produce less of the product. So we write two sub-questions for ourselves. What mass of NO will be produced? We could have asked what mass of water will be produced. It doesn't matter. We must just pick one of the products. So I just happen to pick the first one, NO. So what mass of NO will be produced if all of the ammonia which is 2 grams of ammonia, is used up. And what mass of NO will be produced if all of the oxygen is used up? So how do we answer that? Just notice that here I've actually given the answer to each of those calculations, whereas before I didn't have the answer yet. But now let's answer each of these sub-questions that we created for ourselves to help us to answer the question, what is the limiting reagent? So in each case, we need to know what mass, how many grams of one of the products, I just happened to choose NO, I could have chosen H2O, will be produced if all of each of the reactants is used up. In the first case, if all two grams of the ammonia is used up, and in the second case, if all four grams of oxygen is used up. And in both cases, we need to multiply this question by a conversion factor, which we find from the reaction ratio for this particular reaction. And in the first case, that conversion factor must have grams ammonia at the bottom. And in the second case, that conversion factor must have grams oxygen at the bottom. But in both cases, we need grams of NO produced at the top. So we know that 120 grams of NO are produced for every 68 grams of ammonia that get used and for every 160 grams of oxygen that get used. So we find from that that 3,53, the calculator says 3,5294, and I'm rounding off to two decimal places, grams of NO would be produced if all of the ammonia could react, whereas 3 grams of NO would be produced 
if all of the oxygen could react. 3 is obviously smaller than 3,53, so that tells us that it is the oxygen that is the limiting reagent because it produces less of the product if all of it is used up. So now we go to our next question. How much excess reactant remains? Now we first have to understand what does this mean, excess reactant. Excess reactant is the opposite of the limiting reagent. So we've seen oxygen is the limiting reagent, so ammonia is in excess. So this is asking how much ammonia is left behind afterwards because the one that's not the limiting reagent does not all get used up in the reaction. There's still some of it left behind once the reaction's finished. And this is asking how much of it is left behind. So there are two things we need to know. First of all, how much ammonia there was at the beginning. Now that we know. It's two grams. And then how much of that got used up during the reaction and then we can find out from the difference how much remains. So we need to ask this question first. What mass of ammonia was used up, was needed in the reaction? Now we know that all four grams of the oxygen that was present at the start reacts, but we don't know how much of the ammonia reacts. We know there was two grams at the start, but we don't know how much of that two grams reacted. So that's why we ask ourselves this question here, so that we can get information that's going to help us to answer the question that we were asked. What mass, in other words, how many grams of ammonia is needed, in other words, reacts, when all four grams of the oxygen that was present at the start reacts completely. And to answer that, we need to multiply this by a conversion factor, which comes from the reaction ratio of this particular reaction. And this conversion factor must have grams of oxygen at the bottom and grams of ammonia at the top. And we know that 160 grams of oxygen is needed every time 68 grams of ammonia reacts. So we do the calculation on our calculator and we find the answer is 1,70 grams of ammonia is going to be used up. So 1,7 grams of this total 2 grams got used up. And we are asked how much remains. Can you see the answer? It's obviously 2 minus 1,7, which is 0, 0,3 grams. So at the start, there were 2 grams of ammonia. And during the reaction, we've just calculated, 1,7 grams of the ammonia got used up. So at the end, there are 2 minus 1,7 grams, which is 0, 0,3 grams. And that's the answer. That's in excess. That's left over because it's extra. This is what did not react.